So after calculation of the delta H, what we can do next is to find out the delta S. And uh, very similarly, that the delta S has a very easy equation to memorize. And this delta S is equal to the sum of the entropy of the product minus the sum of entropy of the reactant. Okay? And uh, I'm going to use the same approach, which is to uh, do the calculation in separate steps. So I'm going to calculate the sum of the entropy of the product first. And uh, again, I'm going to use my table and uh, and just look at the column on the right which is s and then you go down to the corris uh the corresponding chemical and you see 173.51 that's the value we're going to use and uh it is the same as the change of enthalpy that we are going to include the coefficient in the front so two moles times the value of hydrogen fluoride which is 173.51 now in this case the unit is a little bit different because they are two different measurements here we have joules over mole times K as the unit and here we are canceling out the mole so we have 346 no, 347.02 joules per Kelvin. Okay, uh, I'm doing this in my head, so I get this wrong at the very beginning. And then um, I'm going. To, so this is my value for my product, and I'm going to do the same for the reactant. And um, what I have is hydrogen gas. Uh, I have one more of that. And I'm going to look up my table for hydrogen gas. I have 130.58 joules per mole times K. And plus, remember that this is the, uh, the notation for the sum. So we are adding together. And uh, for the fluorine gas, we have one mole, and it's going to multiply 202.7 joules per mole times K. And uh, make sure that you are canceling out the units, which is very important. I hope everyone understands that. So 130.58 plus 202.7, you would get 333.28 joules per Kelvin. Okay, so apologize for this mess here. Okay. And, uh, and then I'm going to uh, put these two numbers together in the equation. Remember delta S is this, the product minus the reactant. So we have 347.02 joules per Kelvin minus 333.28 joules per Kelvin. Now, here, since this is a positive number, I'm not going to put parentheses. However, sometimes the reactant may give you a negative number and you may consider to use parentheses because that would help you to figure out whether it will change it, change the sign right here. But in this case, we are good. So we subtract that and uh, use my calculator. 347.02 minus 333.28 so you should get 13.74 joules per Kelvin for your answer, which is the same as here, 13.7 joules per Kelvin. Okay?